it's April time and got some pickups as always. Um, yeah, so when London Game Market this month, um, as you've probably seen the video which is up there, I went to see friend Danny was there. Really like the artwork from this, so she let me have it and added Fatal Fury American Snows box. Um, so if I actually get the American Snows version, I've got a box of menus to it. Um, yeah, the artwork is really, really cool. Even the English one will fit in there, yeah. fine. Really, really cool. So thanks again, Danny, superstar. Um, other stuff I got off the London gaming market. Right, so I shall get the trash out of the way first. The filler. The filler. Um, Which you're only getting photos for. The red trash. <laughs> He wouldn't even play one game for us to put a really long version of it. No, uh, Retro Hunter, Ali put some bits by for me, which I picked up, obviously. And the main ones he had put by for me was the filler. So we go with FIFA International Soccer. Filler International Soccer. I freaking love this game when it first came out. It was like gold dust. I mean, I actually bought my copy of this when it first came out on the Mega Drive from... Um, uh, what's the crossroad from Woods? I actually bought a copy of this from Superdrug when Superdrug sold Mega oh Drive games. That was a long yeah. time ago. I had to wait frickin' I for Christmas I got like a hundred pounds of vouchers from different people, Superdrug vouchers. <laughs> but I had to wait till like May or something like that <laughs> so I could get it. But yeah, I mean I played this to death. This was brilliant at the time and I really loved the FIFA games. And believe it or not, that was the only FIFA I ever actually played properly. I mean I got these others. I got um FIFA 95 from him. FIFA 96 and FIFA 97. Although I have weird issues with FIFA 97 and 96. Um, there's sound but no image. But, On um, multiple Mega Drives? Yes. Um, but, uh, multi Megas. And uh, Ali's going to sort me out there, so that's good. But yeah, I really did love the FIFAs. I mean, I love the invisible walls. Uh, the invisible football was like the worst cheat ever. It's like, right, where the hell is it? You know, or well, the super bouncy football. That was proper fun times. Um, playing. My God, play multiplayer with my friend Jason Spate. There's a name from the freaking buses. None of the Jasons you guys know, but oh, yeah, that was great fun. Cause he, oh, we used to play doubles on that. Then we used to play. I think it was is it Cyberball on the Mega Drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I was crap at that. All right, it got United me. United me at that by United him was famous. That was good. So the other games, um, yeah, I've had to buy for me. Now these were massive time sinks for me. Um, I had both of these in the day. And they are evil time killers. Yeah, so evil I've got time Premier killers. Manager and Premier Manager 97. And yes, I literally... I mean, these are great fun. They were, they were they're a pale impression compared to what I used to love playing. It's my friend Phil from Ramsgate, I used to borrow his Amiga and play Sensible World of Soccer. Now that is the most deadly. I lost a whole weekend with no sleep to that. And oh, yeah, the days. But these, these are good. They're, they're good. They're not... You know, they're still going by Sega, believe it or not, but yeah, I think yeah. they only go on PC now. And PC only, yeah, PC only. Yeah, and he had one game actually on the shop um, shop floor, on the table that he was selling, that I saw at a really good price, and he did an even better price on it. And it's a weird buggy game, weird. Bug buggy and insecty, I mean, weird. fire hazard battle. <laughs> weird sort of bugs fighting alien bugs. Yes, thing. it's a side-scrolling really shooter. It's really strange. good. Strange. It's, it's really strange. good. It's not, not, you know... I suppose you could say, in a different way, it's close to Calibri, but not because of the bugginess for it. I, I was, I, I would say it's just like um, Darius, but with lots of bugs. Yeah. It plays like Darius. Mm. It plays a lot like Darius. Yeah. Um, only you could got actually be fuzzy flying bugs, not problems. <laughs> yes, working. yes, it works fine. Yeah, it works really, really good. Uh, the other game I picked up from the London Game Market, which I was really chuffed for, was a now lovely boxed and okay condition copy of Shadows of the Empire, which looks freaking awful on a HD telly. <laughs> nice cutscenes, though. Ah, yes, really good. I mean, I like the idea of, um, damn it, what's his name? Quick, try and read Dash it. Render. There you go. Uh, just got to it, it's very bastard. That, I like <laughs> the idea of actually playing through this. But I set the N64 up on them. I was playing more Diddy Kong mm. while I was testing the games the other day. And just putting this on, it looks so bad. But it was a weird thing, because it was yeah. when it came out, it was like a weird multimedia thing. They had yeah. the comics, yeah. they had the book of it, yeah. and they had this. Because they um, released the ship, didn't they? As a yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. the figures and everything. Yeah. They released all the figures and stuff. Because isn't his ship based on something that Anakin and that use in... No. Clone Wars, that's no. the second one, is it? No, yeah. No. It, ah, my Star, it's, Star, Star the, Wars, Lair, Law. Fuck it. They, they put the Outrider but, back into the special edition, and I think they took it out again. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
just it's then. just as I think it's in episode four, just as they kind of get to um, the hive of scum and villainy. Mm. Uh, I think you see that take off. They meant to Mos Eisley, and yeah. then the uh, the outrider, whatever it was, um, took off as they sort of like speeded mm. in. You see it in some background. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember seeing the cinema and going, oh, it was the Outrider. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, as I was up there as well, I bought one game off Jason, one game I needed from the DS. From the Bucksack. Sonic and the Sega All Star Racing. The Bucksack are trading goodness. Yeah, well, you got his Mega Drive or Sonic collection from the yeah. PS2 last time, and I got it this time. So we tend to buy some of them every time. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic as well, each time. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, I love that game. I prefer the way it played. I like the, the, the newness and the lore of the sequel. But it's, well, it's the fan good. service. The yeah, the fan service. It's the yeah. fan service of the sequel. And the Burning Rangers level. Well, Skies of Arcadia level. What? I don't really know. If Even the Afterburner it. level. Yeah. Everything yeah. is so fan service and yeah. great in the sequel. It doesn't play as but good as that. But that plays so much better. Yeah. Sumo Digital, what did you do? Yeah, but I think they tried to make it less like Mario Kart. Yeah. But Mario Kart works. Mario Kart with planes and boats. Yeah. I mean, they've done that now with Mario Kart, isn't they? Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they sort of try to copy it sort of thing, but made it different sort of thing. But. Yeah. I really enjoyed that when I played it to death. When that came out on the um, 360, I just didn't stop playing it for ages. I remember playing multiplayer with friends and yeah. everything, and I just, untouchable. Yeah. I locked everything. I, I locked a lot of stuff, and I was going to go back to it, I lost my save. So. Oh, that wasn't the um, Halo Reach 360? Yes, it was. it was. Hard drive just. <laughs> yes, and I lost everything. <laughs> Not too good. Yes. Not too good. But, but, but about three things that I had saved on the cloud. Apart yeah. from that, that was it. So the day after London, a couple of days after London Gaming Market, I head over to uh, Ramsgate, and it's quite weird. It's like, Penny again. It's like twice in a year. This is scary. But I was actually in Ramsgate, and I found something. I mean, prices have definitely gone up. But as we all know, that I'm uh, on the hunt. Because you've looked at this for you looked at this at six pound at one point, and you went, no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. So I paid fifteen, and that is Yakuza Four, which I know nothing about. I'm to Tony. It's good. <laughs> it's probably my favourite Yakuza game. Yeah. Uh, you play as four separate characters. Uh, you don't play the protagonist from the other games until the very end. All right, yeah. Um, but you, you, you play as Akiyama to begin with. Then you play as uh, t is it Tiger Sejima, uh, the, second, the second character. And the third character is a cop. He looks like about 12. I can't remember his name. Um, Doogie Howser. He was a fucking doctor, were not he? Takamura. Mm. I think it's Ta is it, no, is it Takamura. Is Takamura the bad guy? I can't remember. Anyway, he um, was playing them all to death in <laughs> yes, <laughs> in a very very short time. <laughs> yeah, I basically did one, two, three, and four, and Dead Souls mm. in about a month. Um, yes, because they're not like, they're brain. not <laughs> hugely long games. They are sort of. 12 to 20 hours, depending on how much you mm. do, sort of games. Then, did you say 12? 12. 12. <laughs> I said 12. Wolf. Cool whip, cool whip, cool whip, cool whip, cool whip. Yeah, cool whip. I will go back to continue. I, I won't continue, I will start again on my Echoes of State. Yeah, Stave, <laughs> <laughs> close, it's the first mistake. And there's the phone. Hello, phone. <laughs> Yeah, so looking forward to going back to that. On the groups, I managed to pick up some real good bargains this week, and including. I can't remember, but it was really low. I think it was like four pounds for Jet Set Radio Future on the Xbox box with manual. You never see it this cheap. Some guy had a bundle of stuff he was selling. I asked over this and something else, but it turns out I had this something else. Mm -hmm. And yes, yeah, so I picked this up. So I'm sure it was four pounds posted. Mm. And played this very little. Um, I did play it about 10 15 minutes though. I never actually finished it, but I got quite mm. far into Champ it. Champ played this day. I didn't get as far in it as I did on the Dreamcast version. Mm. The Dreamcast version, I still didn't finish, even though there was like certain time trials and stuff like mm. that that I hadn't done, like certain and achievements. Unlock characters didn't yeah. have time trials and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. Uh, that I hadn't done. But I had, I finished the main story sort of mode of it. Mm. I never got to the end of that, and I always regret not getting to the end of it. Because uh, it's really good. Well, that's about the Dreamcast. It's also one. really hard. It's in the little VMU, you could create your graffiti, you could yeah. <clears throat> yeah. that you put on the wall and sort of stuff. Yeah, and that was awesome. I really, you know, really. It's a really hard really game, man. It really, it's yeah. a really awesome game. Mm. It looks very different. I mean, in some ways, I prefer the cell shaded look of the first one. Yeah, a little bit more than that one, which looks mm. more shiny and up to date and more realistic, even though it's still cell shaded. 
Um, oh, there's, a lot, there's a lot more filters and stuff on there. Sega basically kind of like the, the Dreamcast was dead, and they just kind of like fuck it, let's try and throw everything behind Xbox. Yeah. And then at the same time, they had a few people do let's do some PS2 stuff. And then GameCube as well. Yeah. They, they, they were just throwing yeah. eggs in all different baskets all over the fucking place. Yeah. I mean, you had Billy Hatcher on GameCube. You had Jet Set Radio and Panzer and Sega uh, Racing. What's it called? Sega GT. They, they were all Xbox. And uh, Gun Valkyrie. Yeah. So uh, the, there was none were, of them, but uh, yeah. at the same point you had Virtua Fighter 4 yeah, on the PS2, PS2. Yeah. you had like all the conversions of like Crazy Taxi. On everything. <laughs> not yeah. on Xbox. No, because Ta Crazy Taxi 3 was exclusive, weren't it, on the Xbox? Yes, it was. You, if I remember correctly, everything from Crazy Taxi 1 and 2 was also in there, if I remember correctly. Sort of, yeah. Mm. It is sort yeah. of in there. Mm. Yes. But, uh, I, I vaguely remember, I don't know if I'm right, a cheat in Crazy Taxi where you could change a taxi to like a horse and cart. I don't know. Because Sega always did this stuff. There was a horse from Daytona, there was the sheep from fucking yeah. Bang's TT. That, the, the thing is though, yeah. it was you didn't get the proper feel for it unless you're playing the arcade version yeah. of Manx TT. <laughs> and you're, you're, you've got the handlebars and that, and you're riding, and you've got the sheep's head that, yeah, yeah, yeah you know. It's yeah, like, that's hilarious. I mean, on, on the um, Saturn, it just looks like you're in a cloud, you're, you're right, but yeah. you know it's supposed to be a sheep, but you go, man, now again. <laughs> yeah, so, um, well, so yeah, I had a few more bits on the groups, but I picked this up. Amazon Prime done me good again. This is two months in a row. Last month, I managed to get, well, Amazon Prime goes to Tony because I don't have Prime. <laughs> Last month I managed to get the Transformers movie, the Blu-ray Ultra Mega Bells and Whistles edition. What, twelve ninety nine? Yeah, which is now back up to thirty five. And this week, this week, this month, instead of thirty quid, I got bought twelve ninety nine again. Mission Impossible story levels I'm levels for Lego's dimensions. I'm wasting again for this in the next month's so sort of like twelve ninety nine buy. Yeah. <laughs> it should be around now, but they've not done nothing yet. I mean there'll be something I want. There will be something I want. I think Easter has found them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I've still got quite a few sets I want to get. I, mean, I do actually want to get the story packs to this as well, but the story pack is 60 quid. And it's kind of like, I mean, yes, bit you get a nice new bit to go on your portal and stuff, but 60 quid, uh, whereas with these, you, you do get a good four or five hours out of these. And they're really enjoyable, so yeah, as well chuffed with that. Thank you, Amazon Primeness. Yeah, so on the groups, I picked up another few more bits. I picked up for, I can't fucking remember. Normally I can. Guilty Gear Judgment on the PSP for cheap. Um, two games in one? I think it was five pounds. Yeah. Two games it in could one. be four, but it could be three pounds. I think it was five. Yeah, I can't freaking remember. Because you've got the side scroller, which is strange because I played this quite a lot before. It's so slow paced. Yeah, it's really so oddly slow. slow paced. But the start of it. Yeah, is the Axon Core. Mm, maximum overdrive. It's no, Guilty. I think it's just Guilty Gear Double X Axon. No, it's not even Axon Core. No. I don't think it's even Axon Core. Um, I think it was the one before. Guilty Gear X2 Reload. That's it. That's it. Then you yeah. have Axon Core afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? And then you have Axon Kill Core Plus after mm. that. And then you have. Uh, <laughs> then it was the reboot, though. Yeah. Yeah. Which is. I was trying to think what it was called. Xenon, I was going to say. Like, Zard. Zard, Zard. Zard Sign. Then it's Zard Sign Revelator. And then Z Sign Revelator 2, which is either a full, which is either a disc add-on or an upgrade to Z Sign Revelator. But yes, we're talking about this. Yeah, good game. Uh, as I said, really, really crazy slow paced. Uh, I wanted to, I got to like the third world, and I just got bored. Yeah, good bored. music though. But yeah, good music, and one to definitely have in the collection. And I managed to knock off one of my Dreamcast needs. I paid twenty two pounds fifty postage for this one, an eBay buy, but it's all mint. <laughs> Lovely, look at that, and that is Heavy Metal Geomatrix on the Dreamcast. This game, weird. Basically, it's like an arena fighter. If you played Spawn on the Dreamcast, it's very similar to that. Um, you're just heavy metal people beating the shit out of each other in an arena. So, yeah, heavy good, metal music. Heavy metal soundtrack, yeah. Like yeah. licensed for like Megadeth and stuff like yeah. that, I think. Because this is one of the ones when I wasn't really. Um, Collecting for Dreamcast, I had and I traded towards something else. In fact, it's an enjoyable game. It's one of the games that you can have 15 minutes on and you can have a break. 15 minutes, unlock a character and go on something else. Something else? Something else, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I um, got one digital, I got a few digital bits actually this month. Even though I don't have the game yet, I bought the season pass for Dead Rising. <laughs> and I also bought the season pass for Lego Avengers, which I'm actually playing now. Yeah, but see, Champ for Dead Rising. Yes. <laughs> 
long, detailed <laughs> explanation. <laughs> Once I sit there and go, hmm. I've not played it yet. Mm. And they had on the Easter sale for a really decent price, which I think was, was it eight? I yeah, I think, I think it was. One. And I that's think it was. Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive. Definitive. I've been wanting to get this game for a long time, but I was so unwilling to pay the 16 for it. And the one thing I will say about it is beautiful. It looks gorgeous. That animation is, is, yeah. is it looks stunning. Gorgeous. So it's, it's, it's not it's Miyazaki esque, yeah. but it is a little bit. It's mm. kind of odd. It's just, it's just very, you know. But it's very similar to, well, um, what is it? It's a wolf in sheep's clothing size. It's a hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, what's the 2D game that, on the Wii U when that has come out? Uh, Duncan's bought the new version. Shovel Knight. Shovel. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you get like your shovel knight, which has got the graphics of the old style and different the old style. This is like the looks of newness and gorgeousness yeah. with that difficulty as well. Yeah. We've also got it's not quite as bad as Super Meat Boy. No, no, that's true. I don't think anything is. Yeah, oh, that's irritating. I, I it's such a ten minutes, I was done. Yeah, so, uh, I like yeah. it, but I couldn't see myself play finishing Super mm. Meat Boy. I look that's forward the... to Cuphead though. That game I really that's look awesome. forward to. That does look stunning. I mean, that's been in the works for such a long time, but yeah. they, they are doing but the every single frame. And stuff, they went, oh, it yeah. looks stunning. It started off as just a boss battle game, but now yeah. it's a proper levels and yeah. all that. And apparently it's still as hard as fuck, but I'm really, really looking forward to that. And yeah, game had a couple of saley bits on, so I took advantage of the sale. And me, like him in Lego, I picked the deluxe edition up of Star Wars The Force Awakens, which comes with the season pass. And a Star Wars Lego figure of Finn. I, I, I honestly think, though, for Finn, they could have put anyone in his role. I disliked him. He's just... I'm a stormtrooper with a conscience. And all of a sudden, I'm a superhero. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like... I, I'm, I've been, like, super trained from birth after being stolen. Yeah. To be nothing but a stormtrooper. And the first mm. time he gets into a fight, he's like... Yeah, you don't like this, people are killed. Blood on the face, oh, I've got a conscious and uh, uh, I'm an amazing shot. Uh, my name is F blah 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 blah, oh Finn. <laughs> and I think it would be hilarious if he turned out to be like Lando Carizian's son or something, because <laughs> I can see something like that happening, because the story behind them is basically they get kidnapped by the Emperor and yeah, brainwashed yeah. and trained. Yeah, but so, not the Emperor, it's less yeah. of Moff Tarkin. Yeah, or maybe he is the mm. Emperor. <laughs> We don't know. We'd be interested to find out who he is in episode 8, because we've all seen the episode 8 trailer. Very different. Mm. And it doesn't give anything away, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Only the fact that the Jedi, spoilers, must end. Yes. A uh, game, I wasn't too fussed about game, but I've said for ages, if it mm. comes at the right price, a tenner. But the thing is, it. what's cool about it is it's based on the original comics. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Sealed. Mint. No, what's the, what's the full title? Full title. Mutants in Manhattan. Yes, you would have made my life so much easier if you'd actually said that on the uh, message. Yeah. <laughs> Why, did you get that wrong game or something? No, no, I had to look through the wall. I had to, to oh. make sure it was... It doesn't say platinum on the trailer until <laughs> right at the very end. There's a tiny little P. Yeah. Just at the end of the trailer. No, it's just like, yeah. Yeah, the P plus, yeah. <clears throat> so, see, I emailed on the list of the pickups so he can prepare all the videos mm. ready. Uh, yeah, I saw Johnny Millennium play this and he was trying to hide the fact that he wasn't impressed when he played it because <laughs> he tries to be happy about everything, especially when it's a code game he's got for free from the company. And it's known, it's just known as very boring, very bland. They're saying it's well, not, it's not a bad game, but it's not up to platinum standards. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's known as. I mean, sort of before this, we had trans fucking formers and that Which is awesome. brilliant. Yeah. You know, it's once again, it, it's. Yeah, it's kind of limited compared to Bayonetta, but it's Transformers! And I've played through the whole thing, it's like a sprite. It's awesome. Near Water Marta. Yeah. So this, yeah, I'll, I'll get around to probably playing it in about 50 years time. Um, I've loved all the Platinum games, and I'm real, you know, definitely, definitely going to be picking up the old PS4 game that he just mentioned. I'm really, really looking forward to getting it. will do wonderful 101 first. Yeah. I'm going to go through the back catalogue slowly. <laughs> Yeah, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Made in Manhattan is a film star and Jennifer Lopez has <laughs> nothing to do with this. <laughs> but yes, you guys yeah, it'd be insane, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Lopez as April O'Neil. 
I think it's more no, interesting as Shredder. I, I, I've just pictured the four the four turtles that like working as mates. You know what I mean? It's kind of, you know. <laughs> yeah, wearing the old little pennies and yeah, the little French little French made outfits. It's just like yeah. okay. I, I bet somewhere there's fan fiction for that already. Yeah, anyway, quite right, possible. So. Let's see if I can find a picture. <laughs> if there was something there, then there was. If not, not. But yeah, so that brings April. Haha, <laughs> turtles. April. Okay to an end and uh, yes much filler a few goodbyes a few fucking complete bargains and um, yeah so what did you guys buy in April unfortunately none of mine's made of metal none of it at all unlike these ones but yeah so as always guys like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching <laughs> yes. You see, the problem with this joke is only we know about it. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. <laughs>